And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Circuit Maze. This is from Think Fun. This is one of the puzzles that they make. Think Fun is probably most well known for Rush Hour, which is a puzzle about sliding cars. But they make it actually a lot of really cool puzzle style games. Well, this one is about electric currents and getting them to light up different diodes. And you need to set it up properly. You need... You need You'll learn a little bit about electronic currents as it goes. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's first talk about how the game works. You're going to need this piece here, which has a current in it, which is going to be run through three uh, AAA batteries. And so you put those in here, and basically you're going to be trying to light up three diodes. You got a green, a yellow, and a red, different times. So, for example, and these are important to look at here because there is a positive and negative side on all of them. And so you need to make sure the current flows the proper way. So let me see. So here's basically the, if I connect this here and then connect this to the other side, you can see the diode lights up. All right, um, if, so, and same thing here with the, the red one. Now, it will not work if you have a plus sign up against a plus sign. See, that does not, or is it supposed to look like this? Nope, that doesn't work. But if I do the other way, you'll see that it does work. Now, these don't fit in here as snugly as I like them to be. But you'll see here that it lines up, and so you can have different things happening. You can have these metal strips basically are going to transfer the light. And so the way the game works is you're going to get a card. And there are a pile of cards, including the game, 60 of them actually, that start with beginners all the way to the end. And each card has an answer on the back. So the card will say to challenge, light up the yellow light. It will show you what's in place. So I can see here that this piece is here. I have a straight metal piece here and I got a yellow piece here and then it tells me what to add to the grid I'm gonna add two curves and the end of the blue piece well this one's pretty simple I'm going to put a curve there I'm going to put a curve there and then the blue piece down here and again you'll see these don't stick in as well as I'd like them to once you get them they will all snap in but it, if you're off a little bit, so there we go. So that's the way it looks. I then look at the solution, and the solution is the same as what I built. Don't worry, everyone can do this one. It's the first one, so I'm not really spoiling anything. But as time goes by, you'll see some pieces that will, can be rotated. That's where a piece goes. And this one here, I, you need, there's a switch piece. And this switch piece will tell you which direction the switch has to go. And it needs to light up the yellow one, but not the red one. And so there's all sorts of things. And as you go by, they get harder and harder. There's a blocking piece. There's a here looks like a crossing piece, but it's not. They actually, it's two curves put together. There is a crossing piece, which is kind of built like a bridge. There's also a card here, which tells you these beacons need to be on. These need to be off. This is where the switch is going to be. You know, it gives you kind of a key to the game. And then there's a rule book, which not only talks about how to play the game, but talks a bit about resistors and circuits and closed circuits and short circuits, things you need to avoid, and parallel circuits. So it teaches you a little bit about electricity. But that is essentially how the game works, or a puzzle. Now, a couple of things. First of all, they have resistors built into all these diodes. There's really no way, I don't think, that you can like, get hurt by this game. You can give it to kids, and you don't have to worry about them electrocuting themselves on the thing. It's, a, it's only three AA batteries anyway. Um, that being said, you could drain the batteries by short-circuiting it, but that's, again, that's probably not going to happen because you're going to be moving the pieces around and setting them up. Now, the biggest complaint I have against the game is the one you saw in the video is that the pieces pop out a little. I wish they snapped in much better. Um, they snap in and the game works, but that popping out all the time, a little annoying. Um, then the other 
detriment, I suppose, is that the other games that they have, Rush Hour and Marble Ramp and all the different ones, I can teach like this. This one I got to sit down and say, okay, this is how this works. This is how a switch works. This is what a short circuit is. And now that's good in a lot of regards because it's educational. Knowing how electric currents works is a good thing. You know, it's good information to have. But at the same time, it means that there's more involved with the game. And sometimes you're like, why is this not working? Oh, I have the plus and minus sides reversed. And that does make a big difference. Again, educational. This one is harder, I think, than the other puzzles. Even the beginner puzzles offered some challenge. Obviously not the one I showed you, but I I was getting stumped on some of those intermediate puzzles and I didn't even try many of the the advanced ones because that's just that's really there's a lot of thinking okay this current goes here I need to split the current it goes different directions which is cool there's a lot of, of benefits to this so this is a very educational type puzzle it's one that I recommend it's good for teenagers um, the idea of lighting something up is very satisfying I cannot emphasize how much it is when you put everything in and you put the last piece and then the lights light up and you're like yeah, that's cool. I do. The lights, again, because it's not, it's safe, when you are running long currents and you have multiple of these diodes in, they don't light up that well. I mean, they're, they're, they're weaker lights, which is okay, safety first. Um, but uh, still, a pretty neat effort. I think a lot of kids, teenagers will like it. That's Circuit Maze. Dice Tower Judgment approved. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at coolstuffinc.com. Shut the door. Yeah. Yeah.